God bless people who come out on the street under this heat. It's hot. Yes, it's hot. But I think that in Gaza, it's way worse. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. This is at least what we can do to come yes. together, gather, speak up, and raise the awareness. May the world hear our voices. May the world hear the voices of Gaza. This, these crimes have to stop, and this was supposed to stop years back. It's sad, it's embarrassing that it takes so long, and we are here around, and we tolerate this. No, we do not tolerate this. We should not tolerate this. We must not tolerate this. We must stand up and stop this right now. God bless the people who gathered here today. God bless the millions of people worldwide who are standing up ready for weeks now and ready for decades since the beginning of this occupation. God bless the Jewish people who stood up in the last couple of weeks, you may not know, yes, in over 30 yes, over yes, cities yes. all yes. around. Yes. And we are standing up and we will continue until this embarrassing, dangerous, bloody occupation is continuing. Yes. May you know there are many Jewish communities worldwide who say, who, who feel that this is not only a catastrophe for Palestine. This is a danger for the Jewish people. This is a danger for humanity. We have to stop this for the sake of everyone. May, may I add one point, which is very important. We have to realize this point. One of the great propaganda being used by Zionism is that Muslims hate the Jews. They are riding on this uh, propaganda and this is supposed to come to a conclusion that there is a difference of religion and therefore there is conflict. And the, the reason why they use this propaganda is because they want to come to a conclusion that since religion is God, not going to change, this conflict is not going to change, and there is no other solution other than what they call to Zion. defend themselves, which is wrong. We have to remember that Jews lived in Palestine before this beginning of Zionism. Well, there were some problems before 1948, but that was after Zionism came up to the Holy Land. Before the 1920s, we lived in an excellent, perfect peace. The older generation still remembers. We still have all the people in our communities telling us stories. We have one colleague with us, with us here today. He's eighth generation Palestinian. His grandmother still tells stories how it was before 1948. It was perfect, it was good. This destroyed us all. We have to remember this history. We have to use this history for the future. We have to have this example in front of our eyes. We did live in peace. We can live in peace. We will live in peace. May I just add one last final point. What's going on in Palestine is not supported by world Jewry, neither condoned by Jewish religion. This is bad, this is cat catastrophic, this is criminal according to Jewish teachings. We have to stop this and as Jewish people we raise the voice, we represent many Jewish communities in the United States, in Europe, Canada and in occupied Palestine who are terribly frustrated with what is happening. God bless the people of Palestine, may God help that these people should be free, completely free, and the siege in Gaza, and the occupation in Palestine. May God bless all people who stand up for Palestine. Yes. God bless America. Takbir! Allah Akbar! Takbir! Allah Akbar! Takbir! Akbar! Jewish people, yes. Zionism, no. Jewish people, yes. Zionism, Repeat, Zionism. Jewish people, yes. Zionism, no. Jewish people, yes. Zionism, no. Jewish people, yes.